Monsters live in the deepest depths of our oceans. No, not Megalodon, not the Kraken, and not the Ninjin. Real sea monsters, though they really aren't monsters in any sense of the word. These sea monsters, as we call them, have a completely unique biology to anything at the surface, let alone anything on land. One of these many sea monsters is the black dragonfish, and it starts out life as a children's doodle come to life, only to mature into the stuff of nightmares. Look at this thing, this absolutely absurd little spaghetti monster. The googly eyes, eye stalks, and pale yellow color looks like something out of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This thing is actually a real living creature though. It's called the black dragonfish, and this is just the baby. A wee little larva with so much more to offer us natural historians. The barbelled dragonfishes are a set of three species of long-bodied eel-like fishes that dwell in the deepest, darkest depths of, like, half of the world's oceans. The three species are actually more visually distinct from one another than you usually see in very close related fish species. The Pacific Black Dragon and Black Dragon are the most similar in having a long, thin, black-colored body, numerous spines holding up the dorsal and anal fins at about the halfway mark of the body, two pelvic fins that just dangle there, a small tail fin, no pectoral fins, and a long barbell lure. The third species, the ribbon saw tailfish, differs in having a series of spines before the dorsal and anal fins that gave it the saw tail nickname. These guys are easily recognizable since their steely appearance and similarities to alien xenomorph has lent them exclusive space on the cover of any book covering life of the deep sea. However, there is a lot about them for us to learn. For example, they have what's called extreme sexual dimorphism. Their females are monstrously large compared to their males. Males are usually about half as large as the females, but can easily be way smaller than that too. Females are usually the ones you see in images and video. They're the ones with all the nasty equipment, essentially the dominatrix of the fish world. She has a chin barbell used to attract prey and a set of enormous teeth to capture it. She has small eyes and bioluminescent spots under those eyes and on the sides of her slimy body. The male, on the other hand, is usually brown, with no teeth, no barbell, and no functioning gut. They can be found at depths of up to 6,600 feet or 2,000 meters and prey on just about anything they can fit in their jaws and down their throats, like crustaceans and other fish. On top of that, males remain at the bottom of the ocean at all times, while the females migrate to the surface of the ocean every night to feed. The really weird part of these guys is their development from larva to adult. The mother can hold up to 14,000 eggs which hatch into translucent, yellow, noodly versions of the adult animal, except for like a lot of things. The wee babies have a duck-shaped snout and a pair of amber-colored spherical eyes at the end of cartilaginous stalks. Their intestines extend beyond the outside of the body and tail fin, so the body wall projects down from the base of the tail to accommodate it. They are between 1.6 and 2.8 centimeters in length at this stage and eat plankton. Their stalks help them see better by giving them a wider range of vision. As they approach their adolescent stage, their eye stalks and intestine are sucked back into their bodies. The skin darkens and the females balloon in size, while the males stay a lighter color and at a smaller size. As an adult, their skin contains melanosomes, or color cells, that are ultra black. It's capable of absorbing 99.95% of light, making them virtually invisible. We've been able to best this just slightly with the material called Vanta Black, which absorbs 99.965% of light. I think that's pretty neat. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my Elephant Tier Patrons, Thea Svensson, Staniforth Hopkins, Dinosaur, and Arda Bayer.
as well as my Tyrannosaurus tier patrons, Henry Brennan, Danny Van Heck, Dana Manchester, Chris Frampton, and Admin.